My mom would always buy me one on the weekend if I'd been a good for the week. If I've been a good for the week. Oh my god. I can't read. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am Dorios and today we're gonna be back with some more of Little Witch in the Woods. So the last time we met Anit and she doesn't think that we should stay in the village, neither does Virgil, but you know, we're gonna go ahead and stay in the village and we're gonna try our best to do our best and you know, just help out the villagers. We have to begin our apprenticeship today. We have to ask Anit if she's made up her mind. Over there, I think someone came. Oh, that was that was Virgil. Over there, I think someone came. That's the Virgil voice. Wow, you're right. Who is this? Hello, Diane. Hello, this is the witch's catalog that gives you the most inexpensive products at best prices. This is Diane Greenwind who brings happiness. Nice to meet you. Uh, yes, hello, I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. Yes, nice to meet you. Ellie, what I must help you with today is, oh, you're registering for the first time. Yeah, that's right. I can't make up a better voice for Diane. I don't know. It must have been inconvenient for you to not be able to use the witch's catalog. Just a minute, okay? Thank you for waiting. So I need to see the master witch before registering. Is she inside? Mm, the master witch? Yes, I need the master witch's signature to register in the witch's catalog. Oh, that's, um, I'm... Hey, Ellie. Eh, huh? Fooling around while I'm out? You didn't forget to register with them? Eh, huh? Oh, no. I didn't forget. Of course not. <laughs> oh, I guess the master witch is at some place else now. Are you talking through that hat? <laughs> yes. Stay quiet, Ellie. You unfinished dumb hat of a little rascal. Did Virgil just like call himself out for being in an unfinished hat or something? Okay. Why can't you even do one thing properly? I told you to tell me when the witch's catalog employee comes. I'm sorry. I was just about to tell you. Oh, sure. Then I guess Ellie can just sign instead because the master witch is here. You'll also receive a gift if you join now. Whoa, a gift? What is it? A witch's broom. That's easy to use. A witch's broom? Finally! You can just sign here and here. Okay, just a minute. Yes, that's it. Then I'll explain how to use the witch's catalog. Would you like to hear it? Yeah, I, I don't know how to use the witch's catalog yet, so I think we might need to hear it. Yes, please explain. Every morning a witch's catalog employee will come. In, in this case, it will be me. I'm planning to be here from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can just purchase the items you need from me during that time. We do not accept cold coins and only accept Luna coins. What is that thing called Luna coin? Luna coin is the currency used in which society? It is called Luna coin because it is made of an ore with power of the moon. Don't you know already that since you were also raised in a witch society, Ellie? I think I learned it in school. It's just that I don't think I called money something else in my life. After all, only Luna coins are used in the witches' society. But how do I earn Luna coins? I guess you don't have enough Luna coins. <laughs> what? Basically, yes? The witch administration is running a service to purchase potions to prepare for such incidents. Please let us know at any time since we purchase regardless of the type. All right, got it. And there's also the special potion delivery service. And every day of the week, we buy potions at a higher price. You can select one out of the three on the list provided and deliver within two days. But since we're buying at a higher price, don't lose this nice opportunity. So do you have any more questions? No, not anymore. All right, then feel free to talk to me if you need anything. Um, yes, go ahead. The gift? Right, I'll give it to you now. Witch's broom, a broom given as a freebie. It's old, but still useful. Ooh, we got a broom. Wow, thank you. Finally, my own broom. Have a nice day. This has been Diane Greenwind of the Witch's Catalog. Do you think it went well? Yes, it looks like the urgent fire is out. Wow, was my acting skill. You? I'm the one who did the acting. You were dumbfounded. It was 
was all an act, being dumbfounded. This might become a problem later on. I told you I'm good at acting. No, not your poor acting skill, but the fact that the Master Witch is not here. The Master Witch must be at the witch's house. We can't just have an apprentice witch. Can't you just keep acting? <laughs> How long will it work? And there's still the matter of the witch who was originally here at this witch's house. It would be nice if we know who that witch is. The witch who was originally here could also be someone with malice. Let's ask the villagers later on. Let's deliver potions with the broom for now. You need to get to Anit. Oh, you're right. But there's no need for urgency. Hello, Diane. Hmm. Diane? Diane! Hello, this is the Wishes catalog that gives you the most inexpensive products at best prices. This is Diane to bring you happiness. Oh, it's you, Ellie. Welcome. I'm sorry that was unprofessional of me. Did something happen? Hmm. I'm not sure if it's okay to tell you this since we just met. What is it? Maybe I can help. Hmm, Ellie, do you remember the potion purchase service? Yeah. Recently, there have been several reports of bad potions. Trust in the witch's catalog's potion quality. Trust in the administration. As a result, the administration issued a notice to each catalog salesperson to test the suspicious potions. The problem is the witch's house I'm in charge of are related to the suspicious potions. As you know, Ellie, potion quality is also a matter of a witch's confidence. You can do it yourself, Diane. I need a witch to accompany me with the test for certification. If it's all right, may I ask for your help? It's a small reward, but I made some Nabicula cupcakes. Nabicula cupcakes? My mom would always buy me one on the weekend if I'd been a good for the week. If I've been a good for the week? Oh my god, I can't read. It's fine. It's fine. So naturally, I've hardly had any so far. All right, I'll help. Thank you. Please take this first. Nutrition potion, a potion that temporarily supplies a large amount of nutrition to a plant. It's usually used as an emergency measure on dying plants. And are we going to throw it on a plant? Why is there a bird? A uh, bird cage? To start testing as soon as possible, I also caught a sprout bird. You can throw the nutrition potion to the sprout bird. When the results appear, please gather them and take a look. Then I'll record the details like the date, weather, time, wind direction, etc. Also, please let me know if you make a bad throw. You're very serious about this. And let's throw the potion. Oh, did it Oh, it made the flowers bloom. <gasps> One, two, three, four. Four new flowers have bloomed. Hmm. Moderate temperature, mild wind, and low humidity. Great. Fortunately, the potions here seem normal. It went well, right? Yes, we can relax now, as at least one of them is normal. This is the reward I promise you, Nabicula Cupcakes. Ooh, a product in high demand made by the popular witch bakery Nabicula. Even the tacky witch hat decoration can't stop you from savoring its deliciousness. Hooray! I requested this as a test this time, but using potions to collect will be much more convenient. There is a saying that the witch's house, which supplies the most potions every year, uses just as much. Tips about using potions can be found in the encyclopedia. Again, thank you for your help. Have a nice day, Ellie. So we can now acquire all of these flowers flowers just casually don't mind if i do Ooh, we can fly pretty fast this is really cool i'm assuming this blitch's broom will run out eventually hey rubber do you know where anita is tick tock tick tock for a long time tick tock tick tock with grandpa any interesting stories ellie what kind of tea do you like Ooh, i feel like ellie would like aromatic tea I like tea that has a fragrant aroma. Bird flower tea is a nice aromatic one. Oh, I think it will smell good indeed. Apparently we can't ask him where his grandma is. What's back here? Temple of the Cat God. Based on the sign, there should have been a road. The sign is broken and the road is blocked. Maybe the God is angry? Okay. Hey, Ani. Hello, Ani. Hello, Ellie. Did you sleep well? I thought about it yesterday, but I'm still not sure. The villagers! Yeah, you mean they would want to come back home, right? 
I don't know why you're more confident than me when I live my whole life in this village. Even so, I decided to believe in that happy thought. Really? If you get rid of the prickly vines, I'll try to contact the residents who was living in that house. But if that resident refuses, don't worry because it won't happen. Ellie, you are so nice. Everything will be fine. Do not worry. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. So who should we get first? Was there a carpenter in the village by chance? Because I think the first thing we need is a carpenter in order to fix the house. Of course. The house at the upper left side from the central fountain of the village belongs to Kyla who is the carpenter. Then it would be better to remove the prickly vines from Kyla's house first. That would be better. If you get rid of the prickly vines, I'll try to contact Kyla. Leave it to me. Okay, I'll leave it to you. You're doing me a favor. All right, let's get this started. Keep in mind that we don't have information, nor do we have a phoenix. The first thing to do is to collect information. Let's look around Kyla's house once and collect information. Let's think about the phoenix later. Would that be okay? This must be the house of a person named Kyla. Is it in the same condition as the other houses? If you don't get rid of the prickly vines, there's no point in rebuilding the house. Now that we know the location, let's ask other villagers. The prickly vines of the village. The prickly vines in the village aren't white prickly vines. I should gather information to find out what kind of prickly vine it is. Let's ask him about the prickly vines of the village. The prickly vines in the village is not good. Not so good. It's bitter, spicy, and not tasty. It also smells fishy. You ate it? Yes, I drank it by drawing it as tea. I dried and roasted by picking only thorns and it was hard. I guess you drink everything as tea. There are so many delicious tea ingredients in the forest. I like apple bush because it's sweet. Grandma says the bird flower tea smells good. I'll also make some delicious tea for you, Ellie. Okay, I'll look forward to it. Oh, I remember it tasted similar to that thing. It also tasted similar to white prickly vine and little honey pumpkin in the forest. I guess you also tried drinking all of them. White prickly vine has a good scent. Hmm. If it tastes similar, can you see it as a similar breed? Thanks anyway, it was helpful. All right, come over for some tea next time. Do you have something to say? When it first appeared, I tried very hard to get rid of it. I tried an axe and also set it on fire, but it was useless. No matter how I made the scar, it healed quickly. That resembles the white prickly vine. Isn't that right? But the white prickly vine disappeared completely when there was a full moon. And these vines didn't disappear even when there was a full moon. It's as strong as the white prickly vine, but doesn't disappear in the moonlight. That's strange. We thought so too. I mean, it is the providence of nature that if there are strong places, there are also weak places. This is all I know. I'm sorry I couldn't be of much help. No, it's okay. It was helpful enough. Welcome, long time no see. It hasn't been that long either. Is that so? Perhaps because it's been a while since I've been here. Did you remove them, the prickly vines? Yes, it's nothing special. Is that so? You're humbling, but you did really well. This village has been really gloomy for the past few years. I'm just getting started. That's a big start because the hope that was gradually disappearing started to come to life. So never give up on this village. Okay, don't worry. I'll never give up on no matter what happens. You sound reliable. By the way, did you happen to bring the thing you promised last time? Of course. Are you talking about Yakon Melon? No. Who promised the roaster handle to use the roaster? I'm kidding. Of course I brought it. But since this guy broke his leg, I don't think I can bring proper products for a while. Oh, really? I feel sorry for him. Thank you for your concern. But don't worry. It will get better soon. The things on sale would be trivial things. Instead, I have a good offer for each other. Do you want to hear it? 
Sure, what is it? As you can see, since Wisteria is not an environment to bring good products, I'll make it better soon. Yeah, but I didn't mean it that way. However, there's a good witch here. I want to use the witch to our advantage. Is there such a witch here? That's what I'm saying. I can't see even from up here. I'm pretty confident with my eyes whether it might be a person or a thing. So Ellie, I want to leave the work to you. What do you think? Naturally, you will also receive proper wages since good things deserve good prices. Really? For me? Really? For her? Yeah. I think I'll ask for potion or animal and plant gathering here. How does that sound? Of course, I like it. Naturally, I'll also look at the quality of products properly. That's because good things deserve good prices. Listen carefully, Ellie. It means a bad price for bad products. Just like the talking hat said. Therefore, it's Virgil, a hat that deserves a bad price. I, I said that really strangely. I am sorry. <laughs> Keep up the good work, Ellie. And Virgil. Okay, we'll work hard. Then, can I talk about work right away? Of course! Since I'm not a witch, I'll only sell the candies that can be used by non-witches. Since I basically buy them all the time, come and buy them anytime. And you do need a lot of potions from time to time. Can you make 10 healing candy in just one day? That's kind of hard, isn't it? I also have to talk to the person who buys it. If I need that many potions, I'll tell you one day in advance. In this case, I'll be able to buy it for more expensive price than usual. Wow, that's nice. Instead, you must deliver after making a promise. That's because trust is important. If you think you can't because of other things, just say you can't. Okay, so can I ask for one right away? Let's see here. I need two healing candy by tomorrow. I think we can do it. All right, I'll also have it ready until tomorrow. Please note that delivery is possible until tomorrow because promises are important. The prickly vines of the village, please, if we can talk about those really quick. I don't have any information on that. So we now have delivering the two potions to Arya. We need the healing candy, which is witch flower extract and maple herb extract. Okay, I think we'll be able to get both of those pretty easily. Since we're in the village, let's go ahead and talk about this one last thing. Oh, is he, is he like a dragon? Hello, Arden. Hey, you're a witch. Yes, I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. Hello. I'm Arden, a dragon and a cook. Did you help Rubberum? You're pretty kind. Don't mention it. Are you going to stay here? I think I'll end up doing so. Why are you staring at me like that? Oh, I'm sorry. It's my first time seeing a dragon with my own eyes. Normally, you wouldn't see one. Even mom said that she seldom met a dragon. That's why I wasn't sure. But you're a real dragon. I never thought I would meet a chef dragon in a place like this. Since dragons have no reasons to mingle with humans, I think I was like that too. I can't tell you the reason even if you look at me with those eyes because I don't remember now. It's kind of weird to call it a reward, but tell me if you're hungry, although it's usually not for free. Okay, sure. This is for helping Rubberum. Take it since it's free. Beef bread, piping hot bread made by Arden. The crunchy bread holds moist beef and vegetables inside. If I ate meat, that would be pretty tasty. Thank you, I'll enjoy it. It's the last one remaining. Hey, you, did you promise to get rid of those prickly vines? Yes, that's right. Yeah, but will you be able to do it? Of course, I'll bring the village back to its former appearance. That's some confidence. Okay. What's going on? The prickly vines of the village. Let's ask him really quick. The prickly vines of the village? Yes, just in case you know something. Well, I don't know much about the prickly vine. I just feel the malice filled in it. Malice? The prickly vines that only destroy houses? It's so unnatural. If it's not someone's malice, what would it be? Is there someone who would do such a terrible thing? I don't know. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure. 
I don't know anything. How about searching through the witch's house at least? Okay, sure. Oh, and on the way to the witch's house, please do me a favor. What kind? I lost a bag containing an important ingredient. I think I lost it somewhere near the water. Please try to find it for me. I remember carrying it into the village. Okay. Okay, I'll try to find it. All right, I think I asked everyone. Try summarizing what you've heard. Anit said it has a similar characteristics as white prickly vines. Rubwum said it tastes like little honey pumpkin. Then it's probably also similar to the little honey pumpkin. Arden didn't tell me anything in particular. He said it was someone's malice. Seeing a prickly vine that can destroy and get rid of a house is enough to make you think so. It seems that Arden thinks it is the witch's work. Witch's curse in a world like today... That's an old-fashioned way of thinking. You wouldn't think so if you've been to Lucerne or two, but the witches of the old days are still alive. Eh, let's find the culprit later. Let's think about Kyla's house first for now. Let's also go look through the witch's house, like Arden said. I think I might have seen something related to the prickly vine in the witch bookshelf on the first floor. So we need to go to the witch's house. Let's go do that. On the way there, I am going to collect some, hopefully, witches herb or whatever it's called and maple herb really quick we're gonna need four of each let's go ahead and run back to the house and we should be able to get pretty much all of these quests done here in just a moment wait what's wrong with this looks like we need to dig the broom grave for the 12th time that's not it the durability is just low i barely wrote it too well what can you expect from a free gift i think there was a good workbench at the workplace i can fix it there all I need is a branch or a mud. I, I know we have branches for sure, so we can definitely fix the broom. Okay, and after moving a few things, let's go ahead and do the witch flower extract and the maple herb extract. So we need stage four fire and clockwise motion. Let's get that going. And there we go. Okay, let's fix the broom. You know how to fix brooms? Of course, broom maintenance is a standard course at the school. I remember the broom you were working on. It flew as it spewed water from behind. I wanted to spit fire, but wasn't water cool too? You're lucky it was summer and that it wasn't fire. No one would have laughed if it wasn't one of those two. It was just once. I can fix it if I have the required materials. Branch or mud can be easily found in the forest. Okay, now we have some branches and we can hold it to fix. So we have durability 500 out of 3000 now. So we've repaired our broom. We've crafted those potions. Let's go see if we can deliver those back over there. Hey, Aurea. Welcome. Do you need anything? Delivering Aurea's potions. Tomorrow's the delivery deadline. Let's go ahead and deliver them. We got 150 gold coins. Okay, let's go ahead and investigate in the witch's house really quick. This time, you can just find a book related to the prickly vine. I can't read anymore. I can't finish reading this here. Why not finish reading it? Who would get rid of the prickly vines if I die? People don't die just because they read a book for a long time. Hmm. I mean, Arya's daughter might die. Look at this book. It looks like there's more than a thousand pages. Anyone would die after finishing reading this. Then you're not going to read anymore? I think I'll throw up if I read one more text. I think the important details come out out right after that what really where the first dew of spring a red moon butterfly the fourth dawn of summer summarize if you're not going to make it mix well and put in the desired plant seeds to make a new plant it's a method to combine the plant's characteristics the prickly vines in the village were combined using this method it seems so from the information i heard it seems to be a combination of little honey pumpkin and white prickly vine then now wait why is this book here someone's malice but Naturally, that book is not uncommon. It is a book that any witch who is interested in plants would have. Correct. It's merely a possibility. I mean, both of them. For now, this one has the priority. Which one? The part that removes the prickly vines. Let's look through Kyla's house again. This was a very long one, I think. So hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I really think you guys will like this video right over here, over here. I, I don't know where it is. It's somewhere on the screen, right over here, right over here. I, I don't know. But I think you guys will like that video as well. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys all next time on my channel.
Bye, guys.